Coming up here at the end of the month, it is Bellator 141. We're now joined by one of the men that's going to be the opening bout of the main card on Spike TV, which, of course, will begin at 9 p.m. Eastern Time, 6 p.m. out on the West Coast. It is Raphael Butler, who's going to be taking on Lorenzo Hood. Raphael, as always, appreciate the time. Uh, you know, when this fight was announced it, and over you know the couple weeks since it's been announced, it seems like a lot of the talk has been about your opponent making his coming into Bellator. Obviously, he's, he's, a, he's someone pe- people have been talking about for some time. Do you kind of like the fact that everyone is talking about your opponent and no one's really talking about you? That kind of like you're just that guy sitting there saying, you know what, I'm going to show you all on fight night. You should have been talking about me. You know what, man? Um, I actually like when the attention is not on me because then I can just focus on what I need to do. I, you know, I, you know, if I could, I would keep it this way. I would keep it so that everybody else is talking about my opponent and not me because that, that makes my job easier and less stressful. I don't have to prove anything. I mean, you know, the only thing I have to do in here is go in here and fight. Did maybe, you know, I think when you entered Bellator and you rolled off those, you know, those quick first round victories, did do maybe you think that maybe that was part of maybe led to the, the loss and the draw and maybe why things didn't go your way? Is that maybe there was too much attention on yourself? Well, you know, with the loss and the draw, just I, I put too much pressure on myself, you know. I, you know, I, I still have that, I, I still had that boxing mentality, whereas that I had to keep that uh, undefeated record, and I had to make sure that I, you know, I, I do everything I can to keep that undefeated record. But I'm starting to learn now that MMA is a different game. Uh, you know, that the fans like a fighter, and if you go in there and fight, win or lose, the, the fans are going to, you know, gig are going to get behind you. So I'm starting to finally learn that about the, the uh, game of MMA. I know over the past couple of months, along with your training at Alliance, you've done some work at the Glendale Boxing Club. Of course, everyone knows that's, that's the gym with Ronda Rousey. What have kind of you taken from you know working there with Travis Brown and some other fighters there that you've brought those skills over back to Alliance? I mean, uh, you, know, you know, just... Uh, just the, the work ethic. I mean, we, we have really good work, work ethic here at our lines, obviously. But, you know, just seeing just seeing the driver like Francis Ronda, you know, you know, the first day that I was seeing her at the gym, she, she came off of two weeks to being like a like bedridden sick and she came in and worked her butt off for two hours. And it was amazing to watch her do it. And that's, you know, in a and I'm taking that into myself, you know, regardless of how I feel or what else is going on in my life. And when I'm in the gym, I'm in, in here to put out 100% with, 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 with no reason behind just to get in there and do it. Do you feel like the, that times that you need to kind of get away from your home gym and go to another gym just to kind of get different looks, get different uh, sparring partners? Because, you know, if, you, if you're always, you know, with the same partner, you know what they're going to do all the time. Do you think it's kind of one of the things that, that fighters need to do? Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I, you know I'm always, you know, looking out like when, like when, like when, like when I don't have a fight coming up, I like to go and train in different gyms, just to get different looks and see how you know other people are training and you know, you know, and just like you said, like you, you don't want to get stale with the same farm partners because then you start picking up bad habits or you know just habits in general, so that you you may get away with it with that partner, but you may not get away with it during the fight. So I like to to keep my mind working in that aspect of it. And, of course, I think when a lot of Bellator fans think of you, they, they think of those first-round TKO victories, but you are coming off a, a submission victory. Your opponent, all of his wins are coming by TKO and KO. Do you feel like you're just more, a more well-rounded mixed martial artist as opposed to Lorenzo Hood, or do you view him as very well-rounded? Well, uh, well, well see, the, the thing that I'm getting about the Lorenzo Hood, because I, I haven't done a whole lot of research on the guy, but but, uh, but, but what I understand, he, uh, you know, he, he, uh, he is like my earlier fight where, you know, he, he didn't get a chance to show his other skills. So I can't really say that he doesn't have the skills. I just say that he, he uh, as far 
far as what I understand, but he hasn't been able to show him. And, you know, I'm in my job is to make sure that he still doesn't show him in our sight. Do, are you a type of fire that you just allow your coaches to watch the tape and and and, make, and have them relay that information to you, or as the fight gets closer, do you start really start watching more and more tape? Uh, you know, just kind of maybe you know to make sure you're you're where you need to be in your camp. Um, I actually just watched the tape on him. A well, well, a couple of times with him the other day for the first time. Uh, but generally, yeah, like I and the guys that, you know, I let my corner and stuff watch the tape and then figure out the game plan. Um, I feel like when I start to watch the tape my, my, uh, myself, I come up with my own game plan and it may, and it may not agree with what my trainers do. So I try to stay away from that whole thing and just, you know, you know, this, this is the whole point of having uh, being there at Alliance and trusting my trainers to to train me is to get me to the point where I need to be. So I have to have that trust in them to do that. What was your takeaway after watching Lorenzo's fights? Um, strong guy. Um, you know he uh um he seemed to not let any opportunity slip his his grass. You know. But there was one fight I saw when a, a guy just rushed into the uh, the gate, but his head was way too low, and he just started raining elbows. You know that that can happen to anybody. Um, uh, but I, I definitely think that the guy is looking to finish, which you know, you know, just just like everybody that watched me fight, I, I'm always looking to finish too. So it should be a good fight, just based off you know you you. you uh, you know, you you got two guys in there that like the finish and always looking for the finish. Is is Lorenzo when it comes to his fighting abilities, is he very similar to guys who have fought in MMA or do you see him as uh basically an entire new challenge than what you've had before? Um you know, right now it's kinda of hard to tell on that. Um, you know, I uh, see you know, I, I see a lot of the things that I, I've seen in fights before, not only in, in my MMA career, but my boxing career too. Like I, you know, I see a lot of big, strong guys. You know, you know, you know, me, me being the heavyweight, it, 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 there's always a big, strong guy around. So, uh, so you know, he, he's a big, strong guy. You know, he, he, um, um, the, the thing that I found the most interesting about him is that he, you know, he, uh fought at under 200 pounds not that long ago, which uh, which I think that that would be the most interesting thing about him for me because uh, because he has fought a small width, so he may be quicker than people are expecting him to be. But I guess we'll just have to see uh, on the fight who, who got the faster hands near him. Bellator heavyweight division right now seems pretty up. We don't know what's really going on with Vitaly Minikov. And, you know, really, there seems to be a bunch of guys all kind of in the same position. Maybe they're a win, two wins away from potentially fighting from the title. When you look at this fight, I mean, does that is that kind of your mentality? Of like, look, if I go out there and, and I have an impressive performance, I had an impressive performance back in February, that I've got to be one of those guys that they think about in, in terms of a title fight. Oh yeah, definitely. You know, you know that that's the goal for any fighter in any organization to get that goal. And if I, you know, and if 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 I go in this fight and look impressive like I like I am expecting to do, you know, I definitely want my run of the title. You know, I, you know, I, I I I'm not expecting to get a title shot off of this fight, but I definitely want to start making my title run after this fight, given I'm. Um, you know, uh, going there and my business. What would be a statement victory for you? And it's finished, man. Like, 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 uh, like, I, I feel like with the fights like this, you know, you could get uh, two guys, all, all, uh, all their wins about finishes. And, um, I feel like, uh, and I feel like, and, Anything less than a finish for uh, for me wouldn't suffice. 
And of course, it all goes down here in two weeks. Bellator 141. Raphael, appreciate the time and good luck in the fight, man. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I really appreciate it.